Hello, I'm back. I haven't back. I've been away for a while and for a few reasons, but mainly because on the 1st of May I moved house and I've had to wait about six weeks before Talk Talk, who is my provider, to actually pull their thumb out and actually give me the internet. And that only happened last week. And I was out that and I was out in Brighton with Mibru. Uh, going to get bits done, but um, so yeah, so I'm back. And have you missed me? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? Probably not. You can be so cruel sometimes. Anywho, uh, today I'm going to do a uh, a review. I decided I'm going to review this. Who is Tom Ditto by Danny Wallace? And in on and in uh, you know. Thankfulness for that. I am currently wearing my I am a friend of Danny's t shirt. And I actually went and met Danny Wallace for the second time up in Brighton on the day he was doing the book signing for said book. Now, the story of Who is Tom Ditto is the second, I believe, of um Danny Wallace's kind of not true life type of writing. I, the other one was Char uh, Charlotte Street. And I haven't read that one yet. Um, that is going to be next on my list. But I got bought this by my brother as a little present. And maybe because of the, sign, the book signing at the time. So the story of Who is Tom Ditto basically revolves around a man called Tom. Yeah, funny that. Whose girlfriend one day basically says, I have gone, but I haven't left you. Carry on as normal. Right, it says... Tom got a note from his girlfriend. She says she has left. She hasn't left him, but that she is gone. Where the hell is she? When is she coming back? And what is Tom supposed to do in the meantime? In his quest for answers, Tom stumbles across an egocentric group of people with a highly addictive hobby. He is also certain he's followed by an equally bizarre girl. With each new clue to Haley's whereabouts, who is the girlfriend, Tom is forced to question whether he really knows his girlfriend at all. But because who is Haley, and who, for that matter, is Tom Ditto? Now, I will be adding the link for this book down in the uh, description bar below, as I have before. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do any spoilers this time, because you need to read the book. Now, if I'm being totally honest, I think Danny Wallace is a brilliant bloke and a brilliant writer. But this book isn't one of my favourite ones of his. At the moment, it's... Oh, by the way, because I'm moving around, I've actually got you on my lap. Because I'm in my, my new bedroom. Um, anyway. So. Out of his um, real life situation type books. I really like them. But this one. I think was. It's good. But it's not one of my favourites. And that's. You know. Not much I can really do about that. But. I've given it a go. Uh, I'm not going to get a copy of it for my Kindle. But I am going to keep the copy of the book. Because I can just add it to my Danny Wallace collection. Now, I have to admit, I found some of it a bit, not hard going, but a bit boring. I actually had to skip a couple of pages just so I could get to something that was actually worthwhile reading. Um, there's a bit in there about jam Nazis and cupboards. Uh, one about desk hopping. Um, a girl called Pre. Sorry, hang on. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Um, Pia, sorry. Um, who actually turns out to become a really good friend of his. That's not really a spoiler. And then it talks about her life. Then it talks about Haley's life. Then it talks about Tom's life and why he is the way he is, etc. Um, why everyone else is that. Um, the uh, Tom works for a radio radio station and he does like the morning show and such and um his co-host is kind of like um a veteran really and he's very high up and he's got a lot of opinions and he's the type of person who will basically tell you his opinion whether you want it or not and then although some bits go a bit sour then they go a bit okay and I'm trying to explain this without giving it away, and it's very difficult. Hence the reason why I'm going to add the, the bit in the description. Whether you read it, 
the description and the plot. That is your choice. I'm taking no responsibility for this because you chose to do this. You can watch this review. Great. That's all well. But apart from that, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I don't know what the next one he's going to be writing is. He did. We were chatting about it. He did give me a couple of glimpses of what he's next planning to write. Apparently one of it's going to be a short story. That's, he said it was a short story and it's going to be out possibly next year. That's all, he, that's all he would say. I did try to plug him for a bit more info, but he was keeping his cards very close to his chest that day. So instead we had a pint and we talked about Star Wars. You have to be there too, yeah. Obviously, it's understand. And uh, he is actually a really, really nice bloke. So if you ever get a chance to go and see him, go and meet him and just say hello. He will sit and he talks to you. And he's just a genuinely nice bloke. Um, if I had to give like, the rating for this book out of 10, I would give it about a 5. Maybe a 6 if I read it again. Because obviously I know what happens. So again, no spoilers. But I'm going to give it about a 5. Now, as I said, I moved house. And I'm going to give you the quick tour of the uh, new flat. So... This is uh, a Crest Nicholson house, flat, sorry. One sec. Right, so this is my ensuite bathroom with, I made that myself because I was a bit bored and obviously you have to have your toilet rolls. And as you can see, it's now my new timepiece. And then you got, this is the bed, obviously with the spectacular view we have it's like living in Spain as far as I can tell and then out here we have corridor and cupboards and shit then in here this is our spare room which is much bigger than our previous one and this is my little treasure trove of bits so all that box I had with all the DVDs I've been reviewing sorry hang on all that is now in here and then as you can see we're going on holiday uh -huh. and then i've got our new wireless speaker which is a brilliant little thing that was about 30 quid from sainsbury's it was knocked down in price and then um got my new printer which i installed a couple of days ago which is great and then the fantastic view and then in here we have Main bathroom, which is a bit of a mess at the moment, but what do you expect? But then the grand piece is our kitchen. Let's try and get this in. And dining room. My kids' room. <laughs> and uh, this is our front room, which is so much bigger. And the comfiest sofa. Where is it? There it is. That you'll ever ever sit on and my new pride and joy i have got is i have bought a ps3 i am quite chuffed with that so that is our new flat there will be many more reviews next one i have is going to be um probably next week next saturday no actually no not next week because i'm going on holiday as i said so, I might do one in the week. Um, I don't know. I'm going to possibly do, actually, one I have been meaning to do, which I'll give you a snippet. It's called Batman Versus. And that's what I'm going to leave it at. So, I'm going to leave off on this one. And you have a good week. And hopefully it will stay sunny. And rock on. Bye. Ooh, hang on. Bye again.